one of the things we would need to do once we get the data from sensors is to store them permanently so that we can use them later on uh, there are a lot of options that can be used in Python including relational database like SQLite or MySQL or other types of database like MongoDB or CouchDB uh, or even to store them in a simple uh, text file in our case I'm going to use a very simple uh, database called TinyDB which I've already installed into the Raspberry Pi if you'd want to install it you could do pip install TinyDB but in my case I've already installed so I'm going to use that so let me open up a previous file which is already taking in data from temperature and humidity sensor now I'm going to add the code which will allow me to store the data in a database so that I can use them later on so for this as I said I'm going to use TinyDB since TinyDB is an external library we are importing from it this is the second way of importing where we are getting only specific sub modules from the module TinyDB so after I do this I need to open up a database so let me create a connection and that is going to be called DB I'm going to assign it to a JSON file and for this I can give it the name that I want I'm just going to use it uh, the name db.json so it's going to be stored in this file now for each time we get the data I would also want to store the date and time so for that I bring in I import the module date time so with that I'm going to get the time the current time when the data is received and then store that data along with it to store the data in uh, the DB that is been created by TinyDB which is uh, in JSON format and the data is being stored in db.json so I open up the database and if there is already a p previously created db.json it is just going to append to that data but now I'm going to create a new one and to insert the data I do db.insert and then the data that I would want to store as a Python dictionary so in this case I have taken the name date time and store the value date time the date time now uh, dot now which gives me the current date time and then the temperature which is in the zeroth location of data and then the humidity so when I run this code this data will be stored inside the db.json file so let me exit out and store this data I save it I exit and now I run so the print statement gives me these temperature and humidity and the data has now been stored in db.json file so let me open up db.json file and see how the data is written so there we can see that the data the dictionary the python dictionary has been directly stored as location 1 as the data is stored as uh, in the json format and you can see humidity temperature and date time stored so let me get out of this go back to the python code and show you how to call the data back from within python itself so let me comment out this code this too and let me get all the data from the db and then print it out on the command line so when I run this now I get all the data that I have stored as a list so now I can store as many data as I want and use it the way I would want to if you want to learn a little bit more about TinyDB you can always look up its documentation that is available in tinydb.readthedocs.io